deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because your class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. They sound so petty, it's so disgusting. Especially Jess. Hannah! <laughs> and everyone's in on it too, like, they're so messed up. How are you gonna call- Oh my god, bro. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. No one's there, honey. They left to do Josh. their little prank. And Josh is right there sleeping, bro. How are you calling him his name? But anyways, welcome to the first episode of Until Dawn. Shout out to Trisha for recommending me this game. You asked and you shall receive. So thank you for basically giving this a recommendation. And in your honor, Trisha, I'll definitely be playing this game on my channel. Now, let me just take a look here. I see two sleeping birds. One of them Josh, obviously. Tutorial. RS. Use the right stick to look around. And I did not get to finish reading. What else? Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Okay, never heard of this brand of liquor before. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. Yeah, he is not out completely. I remember one time when I first tried Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey, I took two shots. And this was at a Chinese buffet. So, you know, I ate my two, three plates of food as usual. Then I decided to feel a little nice, bought two shots of Jack. And then as soon as I got home, I was out cold for a good four or five hours. Lightweight, I know. Ooh, what's this? Wow, I did all that work just to go to a locked door. Wow, this place is pretty huge. Alright, well, enough exploring. I'm going to go and get out of here. There's really nothing else for me to do. What's this? Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Damn. She's even talking shit. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Yo. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Ew. Dead ass? Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god! Matt! What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah! I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all gonna happen. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? You tell him, Sam! Hannah! 
And that dweeb is still with the camera too, like, hey yo. <laughs> Alright, uh what do I choose? I'm gonna try and wake up Josh. Josh! Josh! Fuck. No? Damn, he's out cold. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. A mean-ass prank. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Of course Hannah. it's not serious. Hannah. It wasn't serious when she was taking off her shirt being half-naked. Totally not serious. You no, know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, dick. Press the correct action button before oh, the timer shit. runs out. Ooh. Run, Forrest, run! I'll do safe, because I'm not trying to get killed. There you go, see? Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, I see footprints. Um, I'm gonna follow the footprints, ma'am, because if I follow a noise, it won't necessarily be my sister. Like... Oh, shit, you gotta be kidding me, bro! I'm surprised none of them try attacking me. Hey yo, this is mad work, and I know you're cold. I know she's cold. Use the touchpad as shown. Okay. I wonder what kind of an android she Hannah. has. You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Giggity, giggity. Hannah! Oh lord, just imagine being out in the cold alone, like... Whew. Whatever. Hold L1 to walk faster? Why are you telling me to walk faster all of a sudden? First of all, why would uh -huh. Hannah's dumbass be running in the cold, in the middle of the woods, in the middle of a storm? Like... Bro. What's this? Death totem. Let me see here. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Alright, that's cool. Next. So, it's a possible future. May not come true. I hope not. That would suck, just seeing your future possible death flash before your eyes, you know what I mean? Anna! She really ran this far deep into the woods. Holy shit, what is that? Fire. Uh, fire, so let's go. I'm getting out of here because I'm done. Hannah. 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 Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I was so dumb. <laughs> Hannah? There's always that one person that's gonna end up falling to the ground in the middle of a chase scene, like, dead ass, come on. Great! Great! 
great. We're stuck. Hold on. Hold on. Who is? Oh. Okay, he's reaching out for my hand. We what? Drop my sister? Fuck out of here. I'm not gonna drop my si No, I'm not doing anything. I'm not. I'm sorry. Shit. Wow. I'm dead. My sister's dead. Okay. I'm in therapy. It's been a while. A hot minute, but I'm in therapy. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Why? Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm. That's a strange optimism right there. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Okay, Scarecrow. Very happy Scarecrow. Lots of corn on the field. Probably summertime. Definitely June, July. Farm's nice too. Very huge. Very clean. Seems like it's very homey. And the scarecrow is not malicious at all. I don't get any type of negative vibes. It's kind of like happy enjoyment. Like I actually want to be here. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Hell yeah, away from all drama, sure. Peace and quiet. Who wouldn't want huh. that? And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Um, I'll be scared. I'm not into any haunting shit. I'm good. Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is after all the ultimate unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of Uncertainty. Okay, basic human emotions. Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. So I notice in the back behind him, he has these paintings of these demons. And... <laughs> I don't know, it's like this place is supposed to be... I feel like the office, it's supposed to be a welcoming setting. 
But that's just a cover. Hey, yo, this song is crazy. Can't believe I'm playing this game. I've beat it a couple times, but it's been years since I played this, so... I forgot what happens in some of the plot. But this should be very interesting. I mean, if I'm able to survive Resident Evil, I could survive this. Ew, a cockroach! Hell no! I ain't surviving this shit! Ew! This song is a mess. Like the lyrics, I can't. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Really? Ah! You actually <laughs> so, stole... So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. Okay. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> you know, he seems like he is adjusting but I recognize that depression look from a mile away is so depressing bro like I would never put that as a song choice not even to unalive hey yo you're still around why are you gripping that thing tight bro the hell
Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Nice. Hello? Hello? Someone there? No. Obviously not. Ignore my deep breathing. You know, I was watching one of the interviews from the behind the scenes of Until Dawn and Hayden Pinotier, the one who plays Sam in the game, was mentioning a couple of interesting qualities about this character. And the one thing that really struck with me was the fact that she mentioned that Sam was vegan. Now the thing is from what I remembered playing this game a whole bunch of times, there was never any indication of Sam being vegan. Like, there was nothing in terms of her saying, oh, save the plants, or you're a murderer for eating animals, or any of that nonsense. So please, Hayden Panettiere, tell me, what made you think this character is vegan? Because that is not canon in terms of any indication that's, that there was any hints of Sam being vegan. Like, I don't know. I'm all for artistic interpretation, but I was just laughing at the fact that she was just throwing random ass words in the interview. The gates busted, climb over. My fat ass would not be able to do that, but okay. Alright. Let me just shake just to make sure. Oh, Jesus. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Anyways. Alright, so let's do the safe way because I'm all about safety. Oh shit! Uh. Oh shit, oh, I hate this. I forgot this game. Uh, climb, 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 climb. Let's go. I forgot the this game has these little quick things. I'm not really good at them, but I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Yo, that's me when I get out of bed every morning for work. Because I low-key don't want to go to work. Yo, who the hell is breathing so damn hard, bro? Like, okay, you can watch me, but the fact that you're watching me breathing like <gasps> hey, little fella. When the don't move icon is on screen, huh? please keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Okay. Fuck. Damn it. I'm sorry, I can't hold still. That's so hard for me to do. Come on. Alright, second chance? Second chance. Oh lord. This is so hard. <laughs> oh. Woo! Thank god. That took me some time. That was so stressful. If you are unsure of what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Well, guess what? I definitely know what to do next. I'm not that too over the all over the place like I know exactly what I need to do okay I can focus focus on me <laughs> cool. okay so this is interesting indigenous people and butterfly prophecies tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures the color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Nice, thank you. 
Wow, what a coincidence! There's one now. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal... Okay, I guess I don't need to read the whole thing. Fucking game. I swear to god, if I get the death totem, I'm gonna flip. Oh, shit. Okay, a guidance totem. Thank goodness. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends... Okay, whatever. You know what? This game is forcing me not to read because I can't even finish reading. I am so depressed. So, I'm here alone in the dark. Like, I would never. What the hell is this? The past... The past is beyond our control. That's not... Mm, I'm done. I'm done. At that point, if I saw that shit, I would be like, Yeah, trip cancelled. I'm going home. Good Chris? luck. Goodbye. Yeah. Bing bong. Get out. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Yo. Hello. I'm done. What? So the phone's ringing, but you know what? I'm gonna close the bag because that's none of my business. Anyways, a butterfly effect appears when your actions have. Sam, oh, fuck hey, off. Can't even read. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Cute. Okay, that's cool. What's good, Chris? Oh, so. I found something kind of amazing. Uh-huh. I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see this. A wanted pro A wanted poster? Nice. Think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Bro, stop playing. Someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Obviously, someone's here. If there was a graffiti on the sign, well, the map, but whatever, Chris. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.